Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Hanukkah, what, whatever else there is. Uh, Shiki, you say it too. Boxing Day. Boxing Day, yeah! Alright, so dude, isn't it like fucking crazy that Oda's a liar and a hack? Oh, what did he lie about this time? Uh, this time, he lied about uh, Luffy defeating Kaido with a punch. Because if you look into this old interview, he said, I don't want Luffy to just win just by punching Kaido. That'd be boring. But then he like just made a big punch to, pun to punch Kaido. Like, what happened? What happened? Um, do, you, do you want to know the exact quote? Uh, well, the exact quote, what is it? When Kaido appeared for the first time, I said that Luffy can't defeat such a strong character yet, and I'm yet to know how Luffy would defeat Kaido. Probably my audience would not be satisfied if the reason for defeating Kaido is just because Luffy's punch is so strong. Hmm. Oh, so this... first of all, he thought that when Kaido got introduced. That's when he thought that. Yep. Secondly, uh, notice uh, the words, um, just a strong punch. Yeah, no, that, like, that's the thing. Like, I imagine, like, what he's talking about is, like, what Stampede did, where it was really, like, King King Kong Gun, where it was just uh -huh. King Kong Gun, but better. But instead, we got a new form to go with it, which new, is pretty cool. And new hockey, which took a lot of training and has a lot of thematic ties in with Kaido. Yeah. And, you know... He's basically saying he introduced Kaido, and he's like, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to beat him yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, this is a suggestion, by the way, and this is by far the best one we've had, because people who, like, genuinely think, like, oh my god, Oda's a liar and a hack because mm -hmm. Luffy oh, won with a punch. Oh, Puff, can it's we like, bring oh, up the... would you have been oh, okay Puff... if Luffy kicked Kaido to death? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Puff, can we bring up the other most obvious thing? What? Even... If Oda outright said, Luffy will not beat Kaido with a punch, I promise. It was some interview from 2016. That's not the story. That's not the story being bad. Yeah, So I know. shut up. Like, like, again, like, it's just like, all right, so let's say, you know, like, Luffy wins with a punch. What does that mean for the narrative? It means Luffy won the way he typically always wins, with a big punch attack, because that's what all of his big moves are. Like, that's fine. That's not, like, bad storytelling, I don't think. <laughs> oh, no, man. and let's be honest, but the only reason people bring this up is because it was part of Raid Fail propaganda. Yeah, it was, and, like, it's actually kind of coming back around a bit because, like, Kaido's voice actor was shocked that, like, his role was finally That's over. just, I hate people using that for Raid Fail when it's just a funny quote. No, dude, there's a vicious was... history. People pretend like we weren't all disappointed when Kaido got defeated. When Uzi... uh, when Kaido got punched into the ground, I think you and I said, he's probably done. Like, like, and then, and then the volcano blew up and we're like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, I still ca like cannot forgive like Morge for like that one stupid chapter where we said like, look at this tiny panel. Why would Oda oh, defeat Kaido in such a quiet way? It's no, like, what what's you... funny is that video kind of convinced me more that Kaido was down. Cause before I was like, he's probably down, but this is a long fight. I don't know. And I saw that Morge video and I was like, you dumbass. Like, he's down. <laughs> like, I just want to like kind of repeat my, like this part in like my, raid film video verbatim and just like all right in his direct example like against with Dolphamingo, you can just go to the next chapter after the king gong gun to with this tiny panel mm. of Dolphamingo like falling into the floor like mm. are you gonna like point that say why would this be the final impact because that's uh -huh. literally the logic some people in the comments apply like dude the final impact was that big double page spread no it wasn't it was this tiny one of Dolphamingo falling in the chapter after well, how about you pay attention to the giant double page spread that, like, the, the note the chapter ends on is Kaido slamming into the ground with ju oh, in this giant ca Wily e. Coyote, yeah. like, whole thing, which was mm -hmm. goofy. <laughs> or basically, it's just like, listen, Ooga Booga, thing we say every time, it's okay if you don't like Wano, but for the love of God, stop with these stupid reasons. Yeah, I know. Like, and for the Kaido's voice, like, specifically, I think it's very funny because. Luffy's been punching, been, like, throwing the prettiest punch in the world against Kaido, like, every week for, like, 50 weeks. <laughs> like, a year now, I think. Mm -hmm. So, I yeah, imagine his shock well was just, I imagine his shock was just like, oh, another pretty punch. Cool, this was the 100th one. I'm sure my boy Kaido's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, I'm it's, out of a job? <laughs> no, no, it's just funny, because, like, I think the quote was, like, he was talking to Usopp's VA, and he said, wait, I lost? And that's funny, because that sounds like he's... That sounds like something Kaido would say. <laughs> <laughs> it is, 
like, <laughs> like that's why it's funny. He like got into the character. And he's like, of course I'm winning. What do you mean? Dude, <laughs> I'm funny. the strongest creature on the planet. How am I gonna lose to no, the rubber? I, I hate raid fail fans. They'll take every funny thing that happens from Wano and make it some cringe bullshit to push their stupid cope. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, like, dude, but maybe, like, when Morge makes his two-hour uh, Mono Sucks video, uh, we'll be convinced. Who knows? Oh, no, I forgot he's doing that. Uh, no. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, next. Is next, uh, next... Yamato round two. Uh, how about we just get to the, all the suggestions for that one? Oh, hell yeah. All you right, so get someone... Get for more Yamato, yeah. you fucks. <laughs> yeah, so someone asked us to talk about the God Scarves and the Awakenings, the Okay, the Hagoromo. Um... Yeah. What I take this as is we don't know enough about it to jump to conclusions because, like, Luffy had a Hagoromo in Gear 4. Yeah. Kind of. He had a Cloud one. Yeah. And Yamato had a Hagoromo. Kaido sometimes had a Hagoromo. I think Momo might even have one. And then Luchi had one, but Kaku might not. But we all think Kaku's awakened. So basically, they don't prove shit yet. So let's just fucking leave it. <laughs> but I do remember this one funny, like, uh, comparison someone on Twitter brought up. Is that, like, all the, like, good characters have white Hagoromos, but all the evil ones, all the villains have black ones. I think it's Which just fun. was, like, what, That's Luffy fun. and Yamato versus Luchi and no one else? Uh, no, Luchi and, uh, Saturn. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it's that's like, just funny, like, oh, dude, no, if it's you, funny. It's all the villains idea. get a black one, I, I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. I'd be totally down for that. No, the Goro say will because they're obviously demons, not uh, not uh, not guys with devil fruits. Yeah. I'm wondering if the this proof person of this is I said so. <laughs> Uh, I'm wondering if, like, the, the reason why someone brought this in the comments was because, like, maybe there's, like, some weird theories going on. Like, maybe Luchi was, oh, like, the, the leopard so god or something. Are. They're so are, and we just haven't found them yet. And, guys, you don't understand how many One Piece viewers we go through. Like, we watch the big guys. Like, we watch Three Vol, because every popular theory seems to come from him first. We watch Ohara, because he's the big guy. We watch Morge, even though we hate it. Uh, we, we, we Then we watch a bunch of small YouTubers. We accidentally found an AI like generating youtube channel the other day they were really funny oh yeah like like two videos a day dude like fuck <laughs> yeah and it was like a hundred thousand plus subs that was crazy yeah it was crazy if any of you are watching that i swear <laughs> oh i guess like this is like a quick thing like you brought up like people thinking saturn's a demon like that's okay for no, that's, it's a, that's fine a, that's a good a way for the story to go honestly but like like it's like obviously being hinted at when I think Vegapunk, when they were being pinned down, outright yelled, Is this your devil fruit power? <laughs> Dude, that's actually foreshadowing that that's not devil fruit power, because that'd Dude, be too right. obvious. Like, you say something, it means the opposite, fuck. You know, it's just that, like, when people say, like, oh, well, he's talking about humans like he's not one himself, but, like, that's because that's what all celestial dragons do. That's what yeah. Charlos did. That's what Doflamingo does. So, you know, just, like, it's, it's like, pretty consistent. Like, he could be a demon. He, like, could, he be. could be a demon and not a human, but, like, there's no definitive proof. Dude, maybe Charles, have, <laughs> maybe Charles is a demon. Maybe Charles is a demon. He's not dead. He's actually gonna fucking. Because they're because remember they, they're all related, right? So like either the um, social dragons are like no, descendants there's no, of there's demons. twenty families. We don't know how much inbreeding there was. I guess that's true. I mean, presumably a lot, but like maybe Charles like escaped all of that. Maybe he's some dude. Spirit. Saturn hasn't had a kid or had any sex in the last five bajillion years. I like that. <laughs> all right, what's the next comment? Because I know we have. Uh, the next one ones. is uh. Acting like you know the story better than Oda. I think this is just like a general thing for like a lot of huh. series where like no, people. It's just, will just all like... series where it's like the way the way that you might know the series better than Oda is like niche dorky trivia. Yeah, because like, like Oda said, Oda says that. names I know that Oda might not remember. Yeah, like and I remember Oda says like... I'm a dork. I remember this one time Oda, like, said in, like, an interview that, like, he loves the One Piece wiki because it reminds him of all the attack names. So, like, yeah, there's definitely some ways that, like, f fans will understand the series better. But, like, if we're talking about, like, the story or whatever, like, I I'm getting, like, vibes like King of Lightning talking about Fairy Tale, where they just kind of act like they're, yep. they're above or, the story um, Or the worst one was the guy took it, it back, but there was that one Fairy Tale trash video that ended with, like, and clearly I care about Fairy Tale more than Mashima. And it's like, don't say that. Oh man, you care like, about guys, it more the than things... the guy who draws it every week. Yeah. The thing that like you guys need to understand, 
Uh, manga could give up their lives to, to to draw the manga that they're drawing. Uh, no, like like they're not like like sure like Oda's like rich as hell, but like he's literally the richest one. Like most of the people aren't in it for the money because if they were in it for the money, like you wouldn't yeah. become an artist if you were in it for the money, right? Because like yeah. you could just go into a profession that makes sense if you just yeah. wanted money. And all Oda you does with his money, from what we know, is he has some goofy ass rooms in his house where he makes his no in his office where he makes his manga. Which, you know, good for him. He's stuck there all day. Might as well make it look cool. And two, he once admitted that he spent a embarrassing amount of money on a gacha game. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, all we know that he spends. <laughs> and then yeah. he made, like, a couple donations to his hometown when it got earthquake. That's, like, all we know that he does with it. It's like, yeah, he literally doesn't have the time to use all the money he has because he's busy grinding One Piece. <laughs> yeah. They're just, uh, man, yeah. it's just kind of like an asshole thing. Yeah, it's just like the understand that manga could like well, like artists they, in general right yeah no but manga because like it's an easy one because like we know for a fact that a mangaka is giving up like their free time like basically all of their free time to make this fucking manga unless you're hero mashima who i think doesn't sleep <laughs> yeah no here he gets something. the best of both worlds he's a, he's a machine <laughs> <laughs> all right this next one is a uh, marine downplay and i have some fun things to say about this one. Oh, is this like oh luffy one shot kizuru or no like the, one shot green bowl i think this is more like you know the, that guy i talk about sometimes and how like he'll just like take every opportunity to just say oh, man the you, marines oh, are such trash like, oh is this like people like, who, like, like take hard line stances on yeah like kaido can things? kaido can beat three admirals stuff like that like uh like listen guys i, I hate to remind you but uh admirals are just strong characters like like i think most people agree with that it's just that there is no, i know there's like just a group of people that are like there's darn just like dude camps there's very yeah camps, camps camps and like uh like again like i love to remind people of this the o there's only two characters that have defeated a top tier in just like a straight up one-on-one -on -one fight luffy who, who defeated kaido and even that comes with a few caveats because like you know kaido fought like 20 guys for luffy or whatever and then luffy and then, was tired from coming up and yada yada yeah and then uh and then a kainu a kainu is the only one he's the even yeah. roger doesn't have one because for all we because like the two people we know roger fight was whitebeard and uh rocks and like whitebeard just seemed like he it was a tie or whatever and, and they made, just clashed for fun and then rocks was a 2v1 yeah or like a 2v four or something, something but we know by the end it was a 2v1 and then uh yeah like uh sakazuki beat kuzan in just a pure top tier fight yeah it's, <laughs> and it's the only example we have and i, I feel like that's a that's kind of striking because it's the only example in like a 1000 chapter manga is just well, a kind i don't of... think that would convince anyone because in their minds um emperors are just on a different level of top tier than uh than admirals are yeah but and like this isn't just I about this is like okay dork <laughs> yeah okay the thing is this isn't just about the admirals because people also do this for like garp who's like even though he's one of like roger's rivals they'll be like but dude like uh even like sengoku's probably stronger than garp now or dude garp can barely could probably barely fight off okay. like i don't know to be fair people or... don't say that anymore because no the not even no. <laughs> yeah yeah the, the the garp got to fight a bunch of blackbeard's dudes and kuzan at the same time and what i like about this is that like you could you could make a decent case for Garp being stronger than Whitebeard based off of his performance, like, at uh, Beehive. Oh, and I think that's valid to say that he just didn't age as poorly as Whitebeard, based off the fact that he wasn't hooked up to medical equipment. Yeah, you know, like, he wasn't sick like Whitebeard was. And if you think Whitebeard was this big guy who could have, like, defeated any admiral, like, at Marine Forward or whatever, one-on-one, -on -one, then that should apply to Garp as much, I think, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, I think, oh, I mean, I guess the one wipe your caveat would be, like, what if his allies weren't there and he just sunk the island? And it's like, you know what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and, like, uh, I think the reason why, like, you can make that case good for Garp is because, like, sure, Whitebeard, like, fought all three admirals separately, but, like, it was kind of separately. He never got, like, jumped by multiple opponent, uh, strong guys at once. It was just, like, some mm -hmm. vice admirals, and then sometimes he'd fight an admiral. But for Garp, it was literally like he's getting dogpiled by Kuzan, Shiryu's coming in with a sneak attack, <laughs> uh, Vasco's shots coming in from the side. <laughs> so many goons. And then uh, I think we, he's uh, babysitting like Kobe, Helmeppo, and Groose while he's doing no, it. No, <laughs> Groose ain't getting babysat. Groose can handle himself. <laughs> no, um, no, but the uh, basically, we're just, this is just us giving our stance on the power scaling thing where it's like, ugh. 
emperors, first commanders, admirals, it's like emperors and admirals seem comparable. First commanders, from what we know, seem a good deal lower, even though there's a lot of variety among the strength of first commanders, from what we can tell. Yeah. Uh, like, the thing is, I think there's a lot of variance within, like, the admirals and the emperors, respectively. And, like, oh, yeah, I guess obviously. I would say that, like, sure, the emperors maybe land higher on average, because you have someone like fucking Shanks. Or, like, yeah, uh, who, 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 one... uh, surprise, surprise, might just be, like, one of the strongest characters. <laughs> yeah, you know, Shocking. like, 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 uh, him one-shotting Kid is just the most impressive one-shot we've seen. It just is. Uh, and... may maybe you could say, let's do Kaido to Luffy, but, like, but that was, like, a uh, cringe, uh, pre Yeah, it was cringe training. Luffy. This was a kid about to fire a railgun. <laughs> yeah, this was also Luffy without his future sight, so, uh, again, cringe Luffy and, uh, like, top-tier, uh, kid who got his power-up after Wano strong boy kid uh yeah so anyway um i i i do think that like oh like people who talk about like kizu it's like oh he got conked out by luffy already and it's like yeah he did but also he did. he's he's probably the one of the weaker admirals if we're being honest because well, like like at the very least you could say kizuru is not okay like we we learned that kuzan is like a fisticuffs god Oh no, he is like he got um, the. It's pretty the bags. safe to assume Kizaru is not that because. Well, actually, he's like we kind of do. Because Kizaru said that like he taught some tomorrow all he knows about like defense and that his like. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, but that means he's good at blocking. <laughs> <laughs> he's good at blocking. Like you tell. Tell him to throw a punch and like he can, but it's like it's it's not a Kuzan punch. <laughs> oh no, dude! When Whitebeard like sent that shock of and the admirals blocked it by holding out their hands, that was like ninety percent Kizaru. <laughs> Yeah, no, that'd be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. Sakazuki and Kuzan are, like, shocked it worked. <laughs> yeah, so, like, again, like, Kizu's not as strong as Kaido, unfortunately. But, like, that you doesn't know, say that's anything. That's a pretty safe assumption. Yeah, it is a safe assumption, but that doesn't say anything for a Kainu or Garp or even Aokiji. No, basically, just stop making your dumb little group things. Doesn't make sense. Just judge each character based off of the shit they do. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah, and then this is our last suggestion. Uh, silly character design's bad, which is just bro- which is just, just, yeah, you're cringe. Yeah. And then I, I think I'll have the same opinion on this that I had on the complaining about One Piece having a lot of characters. If you read, like, uh, the first, like, 50 chapters of One Piece and you're like, I hate Moji, I hate Gaimon, I hate Kuro, I'm not going to read. It's like, okay, fair enough. Yeah. If you made it to Wano and you saw Orochi got introduced and you said, oh my god, why would Oda do this? Are you dumb? Yeah, I know. It's just, it's again, like, there's nothing wrong with, like, not liking One Piece's character designs, even though they're the greatest thing ever. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of taste. Uh, but if you, if you're, if you're deep in, then you should understand what kind of series this is by now. Yeah. If you really want cool characters for, or, like, pretty handsome men fighting each other, go read Bleach or something. Yeah, 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 go read Bleach. Everyone's so attractive. I know. God, every Bleach character is so hot. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Right. Uh, okay that's all our suggestions now let's talk about yamato round two because we found some new things to say because <laughs> it's oh, still not over war I never mean, changes okay. <laughs> okay so i made the bullet point of the main three one is that stupid goddamn concept art which i didn't know was an argument uh, so yeah. um oda uh leaks his concept art every now and then what a cool guy right yep and in the yamato concept art we saw that oh in one of his Yonako, Yamato concepts, Yamato was going to be a woman who's, like, ashamed of that and tries to hide it. Dude, we confirmed! Yamato's a woman confirmed! She identifies as a woman because the concept okay. art! Except, concept, except that concept art was paired with a completely different personality because it said ashamed that she's a woman, which, no. Um, and, then, uh, and, then it, and then it didn't look like Yamato because it was a concept art. That was a idea Oda came up with and did not use. Mm-hmm. That doesn't prove anything. You absolute buffoon. <laughs> I know. Like, it's just like, all right, concept art's it's like, like... No, I think what I said, Puff, is it's like saying that Sanji is secretly a sniper and we just don't know it because yeah. in one of his original designs, he had guns. No, like, it's again, like... No. like... Oh, man. <laughs> all right, like, let's look at what concept art can tell you about Yamato's character objectively. It can tell you what, like, the, the process of creating Yamato was like, and by this, all I can really tell is that Oda wanted Yamato to be a character that, like, played with gender in some way. Yeah. Like, obviously, and... like, this was his initial idea, and then he had to be something else by the end. Like, that's pretty normal. Like, we all remember uh, that axe, that giant axe-wielding Nami concept art, right? Yeah. That's like, that was, that, was supposed to, that was supposed to be what Nami was at some point, but we didn't get that. 
that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah, not. Don't, don't or like Mihawk. Don't. This is one I really like. Mihawk being a fucking weasel. Because oh, because a, oh, a monster yeah. like there's actually like because like his initial idea of like a uh, like rival for like a uh, Ryuma who was like a prototype Zoro kind of. Yeah, was yeah, just yeah. like this guy who looks exactly like Mihawk, but is just a fucking liar weasel. <laughs> yeah, I like him. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of... And then up, up next thing is these are from... Uh, these are from the comments of the first Yamato video where I've been fighting because it's fun. Um, Alright, so this was... Um, uh, Yamato um, is offensive. And here's my counterpoint to that, Pup. Every single comment who said Yamato is a bad representation of trans people uh, was transphobic. So, like... Mm, hmm. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Sus uh, mm, suspicious. It's more like it's not offensive and you... Basically, they don't know how gender works, so they think, well, if Yamato isn't trans, they can't be a man. And it's like, okay, don't give the Yamato... Don't, don't say Yamato is transgender. Don't give them that title. They still identify as a man, so that's still their gender. Like I, like if you personally find it offensive to call Yamato trans for whatever reason, that's fine. They're still a man, though. <laughs> yeah, no, just like uh, <sighs> yeah, just the war just never changes. Uh, and then the last one, which I can, it's this is a perspective I understand but don't agree with, was they said. You, it's hard to take Yamato's gender seriously because it's tied to the Odin gag, and also Yamato is just as sexualized as uh, all the One Piece girls. To the gag thing, I disagree. I think a clear line is drawn between when Yamato is doing haha -ha Odin and when Yamato is saying, I'm a man. <laughs> well, I think my favorite example was actually in like our our first video where like Ka that, there's that one scene where Kairo says, knock it off with the Odin shit. You can't be a, the friends with the samurai, but also you're the son of an Oni and that's why you can't be. Like you're mm -hmm. the son of Kaido. So like obviously he's distinguishing between it. And like, yeah. or like when Yamato took a bath, he didn't say, "Oh, well, Odin would bathe with the men." Yamato says, "Nami, I can't bathe with you. It's not mixed. Go away." <laughs> oh, that reminds me of this fun thing. Uh, I remember this is like an old like comment on a 4chan thread, oh, and wow. I don't know if this was genuine or bait, but like it was kind of interesting. Where uh, someone said, like, guys, if Yamato is supposed to be, wants to be a man, why do they have giant side boobs leaking out? Wouldn't they want to wrap that shit up? I, and then, I literally and gave then, my opinion on that. And message. then there was, a, there was a reply that I thought was interesting. was like, yeah, uh, I'm a, tra a trans man here. Uh, I find it a huge pain to wrap my boobs, too, because mine are also ginormous. And frankly, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with them. It's so much work to try and get them out every morning. And, you know, sometimes it's just not worth it. Unless, like, right. I'm going to an event or something. And then it's like, oh, that's kind of interesting never heard yeah, of that before because i said in the first one is uh yamato identifies as a man therefore they don't wrap their chest that's an interesting that's an interesting expression i like that and then the for the sexual sexualization thing puff anime yes anime sexualizes the fuck out of yamato manga i don't eh, really think so eh kind of i guess like the like, thing is one piece like, doesn't like even like i get that like nami's like oh perfect hourglass figure but like th eh kind of i guess <laughs> No, like, like there's more like, fans. Like if I had to compare Yamato to the One Piece girls, like Yamato is attractive, sure, but like Yamato isn't drawn the way like One Piece women are when it's trying to be like horny. It's it's just not. And I think it's just literally just all the side boob shots that get people to do that, say that, mm -hmm. which and I guess that, is fair. Even again, most of those are from like the anime. And, uh, like, a, like, this is actually an opinion I've heard you say before, and I totally agree. Uh, who cares if there's fan service in something? We should have as much fan service in all things as, as possible, because that would just make everything better, right? right? Like, every character right, should just right, be right. as attractive as possible, like Bleach. Right. Mm -hmm. Or JoJo, <laughs> when... Or JoJo most of the time. Yeah. JoJo, JoJo Part 5 most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, what's, uh... Oh, this is a, this is something that's like kind of related to this. It's just like, all right, so the whole thing this is based around is just like, is Yamato trans or not? That shouldn't be the debate because like the answer is obviously Oda wants to make them a trans character, right? Right. the The question should be, do you like trans people or not? Like, you could just you could still say, yeah, I understand the story is trying to make this a trans character. I just flat out don't like trans people. Like, you can you can't just say oh, that, dude. If they would just say that, it would save so much hassle because it's like, okay not gonna talk to you <laughs> yeah i know it just yeah just like all right like i no, feel like that's like, what don't that's what that's the that's 
that's that's easier on all of us it's like don't code yourself as like having like logistical analysis problems just admit you don't like it because you think it's icky because then i don't have to waste my time trying to argue with you no, like that, again this was in the first year i said like i don't care if you hate fancy but i care if you have bad one piece screens we're here to talking about interpretations of art not what rights you think people should have or whatever or it's like you know it's kind of thing of it's like there's a reason that like the the crossover between i don't like trans people and i call yamato a woman is like it's not one-to-one but it's very close yeah uh this is actually similar to a comment i got on one of my star trek videos the the like i have this section in my star trek video where, my deep space nine one where i just say like yeah more relativism uh let's say a, a thousand years from now we just like solved lab meets or like did what uh starfleet did and got like food replicators and then we mm-hmm. wouldn't eat animals anymore. Like, it's like this, that a society like that would view eating animals as, like, overly cruel and unnecessary. Like, that's not yeah. a leap. That's literally what the show Star Trek says. And then I got a huge comment saying, this is fucking propaganda. You should take, you, you should, this is disgusting. I thought I was here to talk about Star Trek. And I'm like, dude, I, I brought up clips from Star Trek to talk about this. Like, this is just what Star Trek, like, shows to the viewer. Like, I, I know, like, I've seen, like, uh, this compilation about, like, it's kind of wishy-washy with that, because there's a thousand episodes, and some people say things like, oh, yeah, my grandma back on Earth, like, likes to raw chicken or whatever. But, like, d- dude, like, Star Trek is, like, the most blue-pilled leftist thing on the planet. And, oh, uh, like, I know there's some things that, like, I, I like when people say, like, they love, uh, or there's some right-leaning aspects, there definitely is, like, the whole militarization, like, it does, like, you know, uh, like, glor glor glamorize that a lot and that's cool glorify glorify yeah and and so it is cool just like you can the 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 argument shouldn't be like uh what is it doing it should just be like well what do you think about what it's doing because like what it is doing like what one piece is doing and what star trek is doing is pretty obvious like it kind of reminds me of like again like another star trek thing where some people think star trek is an anti like capitalist even though they made a whole like race of uh goblin people who are like hyper capitalist and it's bad mm-hmm. that they're hyper and then like later on we meet one who like wasn't raised under capitalism and it's like oh this one's like a lot better yeah <laughs> dude i love i love quirk so much he's nice. so great uh, uh, what's well next? he's not the one he's the he's a total oh, like god, goblin stop talking about love... star trek what's next <laughs> okay wrong uh... series <laughs> Uh, while we're talking about, uh, the LBGTQ community, let's just talk about how Nami is a lesbian monster. I love how you got in the wrong order. And no, okay, this one is just, like, a fun observation I made from, uh, my friend rereading One Piece and posting panels, which, for the record, he posted a lot. Oh, no, dude, this was old, don't you remember? I remember, like, someone on the video made a big old. No, no, this was an old meme, I know, but it's fun, but this has reminded me of it. If it's just, like, oh, wow, Nami sure does... Uh, it's like it's like it's like uh, uh, evidence for Nami being straight. There is none. Evidence for Nami being uh, gay. She thought Khalifa was hot, and she said that nothing is cooler than a strong marine woman saving you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like listen, it's not definitive, but it's definitely leaning in one direction. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, like it's just funny. I think. Uh, no, I remember, like, no, back no, up, back in the day, like, on Amino, like, someone showed me this compilation. I was actually in denial, like, well, but, but Nami can't be gay. And I took it, like, really seriously. And, uh, mm-hmm. like, again, like, yeah, it's yeah. not, like, a confirmed thing or anything. It's just funny that, like, if you had to pick yeah. a side, Nami's, like, leaning no. slightly towards... No, no Puff, I think the joke I made was, wow, in One Piece, one of the most popular ships is between a raging asexual and a closet lesbian. A 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay uh oh here's one that i added recently uh it's not lily it's lily you dumbos please yeah. um did, please. Didn't, like, didn't arter and tcb come out and say yeah this is how you should say it yes and it was obvious that's how you should have said it but people didn't want to say it that way because they wanted their theory amazon bay. lily theories they want to make theory or, about or, amazon or now lily. it's not but amazon dude, it's... lily it's just theories about the concept of a lily flower and none of it works because hey guys fun fact um so obviously the current princess of alabasta is vivi her mom's name was tt i wonder there's a naming scheme it's a pun it's 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 not even a pun it's just like a funny like scheme it's just like yeah come on yeah i know it's just it just got me mad where it's like damn people really will just prioritize their theories over like actually 
like 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 i know it's a, a name is a very unimportant thing it doesn't really matter it's just like you're not do, you're doing something wrong it's the wrong. reason they're doing, you're doing it. something wrong you're doing something wrong and i don't like you know what it. i can't wait for because this is a name thing where it's like every i puff i famously usually call the admirals by their given names <laughs> i start i've started calling kizuru kizuru because it confuses people but i'll but sakazuki and kuzan i'm objectively correct he's not aokiji he's kuzan he left the marines and he's sakazuki literally when we see him after the time skip it says fleet admiral sakazuki formerly admiral akainu He's not a kind anymore. He's Sakazuki. You know what I can't wait for, Puff? What you can't wait for? Green Bull's name, because it's so infuriating that everyone oh, calls yeah. every admiral by their Japanese name, but then we all just say Green Bull. I know it's so weird, but like I, I just don't like. I it just does his Japanese. Was it Ryugyuku? Roll. Yeah, Ryugyuku. I can, I can barely say it if I am even saying it right. Ryugyuku. No, no, I can't wait for his real name because that's just what I'm gonna call him. I, I'm just gonna maybe I should just call him Marley for now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm, I can't wait for his real name because that's what I'm going I just think it's funny that there's that giant inconsistency in the One Piece fandom where every single admiral, except for this one, we call by their code name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and no, we still call him by his code name, but we we Englishify only this one. It's just funny. Like, I know why it happened. Uh, English translations, yada yada, hard name, wasn't said in the anime a bunch, so it wasn't easy to say, blah blah blah. It makes sense. It's just funny. Yeah. All right, now uh, let's talk about uh, this one because some people thought Green Bull might be this man. Oh, is it Yorkie? I'm asking without no. even looking. No. Who is it? The Lurking Legend. Oh, okay. Um, this is this is okay, very funny because so... like it just seems like now that we finally have a decent candidate for who it might be. Well, your definition of decent candidate is not the same as mine. It's just like ra- ra- dead silent. Like I remember back in the day, every week people would talk about the lurking legend. Now no one talks about it, even though like like Garling showed up and he might be the best candidate we've had for the lurking legend. Like unironically. Um, uh, so the lurking legend thing was said in either twenty nineteen or twenty eighteen, right? Yeah. Um, you don't know. Okay, so what? Let me let me check to make sure I'm right on this. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because like uh, Oda said, like there's I will be a lurking legend who is related to Whitebeard, who will be like the greatest antagonist the, the that Luffy and the gang ever fight right. or something like that, something along no, those lines. My, no, because my question is, did it come out before or after the Eden chapter? Because it, if it came out before, it's Eden. Yeah, obviously. And if it came out after, first of all, uh, depending on how well it was translated and depending on how well Oda was using his words, because it was an interview. Like, oh, we know the lurking legend was like fucking Kaido. <laughs> the thing is, like the he said, uh, I think he said Eam was. Deuce. I think Eam was ruled out because he doesn't really have a connection to Whitebeard. At least not. Oh, like, right, right, right. It's hard connection to imagine. It, it's hard Darkling to imagine. Does fit the connection to Whitebeard. Then. Yeah, like that's like again, like the the biggest candidate was Shiki. That's why there's a ton of Shiki and Wano theories. Like Shiki's yeah. the Shogun. Shiki and made that one with, thing and I, flow. And I fucked with all of those. I didn't care that they were all garbage. I loved them all. Yeah, and like some people thought, like, like actually, like a, a, a re- the most popular one besides Sheik, I think, was Rox. But Rox was weird because like he, he, they talk like he's dead. So like, he unless was, he's so coming, like, it's too hard for him to be the new. No, that's the thing with Rox. But when Rox got introduced, we're all like, oh, he makes sense. But like, he's he's, he's dead. yeah yeah he's like he doesn't fit because like no. it's just going to be the greatest foe the shot to ever to, face. And so, it wouldn't like, make sense for him to come back because Blackbeard is the new Rox. Unless, like, maybe like, they're going to pull something like, I don't know, Blackbeard is, like, his reincarnation or, like, his son know, or, shit, or, like, or, like, some um, direct, like, tie to him. Yeah, but currently the best the best candidate is Garling. It's just funny that no one talks about it anymore. <laughs> no, dude, Whitebeard has the split personality and the second one is Rox. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's the, uh, what's the next thing? Uh, we have, uh, Luffy is just a Goku clone. Oh, oh, is that from that really funny Twitter thread that no one liked? Uh, yeah, but, like, this is actually, like, an old one where, like, a lot of people just say Luffy's just a Goku clone, which, like, uh, a, I think I feel like I likes... feel like anyone who, like, actually says that... Anyone is... who likes One Piece doesn't think that. No, I th- not only that, I think, like, you simplify both Luffy and Goku's character at the same time, because, like, oh, all right... you don't know right. either. It's actually crazy. Yeah, no, like, all right, well, it... like, even, Look, like... I actually think it shows a greater misunderstanding of Goku, though. Yeah, I know, I do think that, because, like, all right, yes, there's obviously a lot of, like overlapping uh, attributes here like you know uh based they like off fighting they're both dumb little animal jungle boys yeah but, uh, but the thing is like d- 
Do you think that, like, we're going to have a substantial amount of One Piece dedicated to Luffy being a dad? Because yeah, that's, like, a, that's think... the thing that blows my mind. People talk about Goku, like, as some, like, basic, like, I don't know, like, building block that, like, you, you build every other character, like, shown protagonist on top yeah. of. But then it's like, dude, how many shown protagonists are a dad and that's a big part of their yeah. character? Yeah, like, no, like, like, not a whole Goku's lot. Biggest, like, one of Goku's biggest arcs is him trying to find a successor. And, like, he tries Gohan and, and it's like, fucking nope. And he tries... Goten and Trunks, it's like, fucking nope. And then he finally gets Oob, and it's like, that took, that started in, like, the Frieza or Cell Saga, and ended at the end of the series. That was a long arc. And it's like, how many other huge, really popular shonen MCs can you say spent around a giant chunk of their series looking for a successor? You can't! Yeah, I know! You like... can't! Or even, like, Goku's whole thing of, like, his greatest desire is self-improvement and fighting for the sake of it. That's really unique. I mean, I would say really unique, because, like, there's a lot of martial arts series no, that are just about No, really unique. No, but really unique among, like, big d- brain-dead battle shonen. Obviously, it's common among martial arts, because, you know, it's a common martial arts belief. But it's funny, it's like, you think Luffy gives a shit about, like, becoming, like, better than he was the day before? Not I mean, like the thing, the thing is, Luffy doesn't really care about it the same way Goku does. Like Luffy's like says, like I need to be stronger than anyone. I need to beat so the emperor. Yeah, no, people. he's he's not saying I need to improve myself for the sake of it. He's saying I just want to be stronger than everyone else so that I can protect mm-hmm. my crew, which is and not the like same Luffy as Goku at all. Likes fighting, but Luffy doesn't live to fight. Goku literally lives to fight. Yeah, huh. it's like you know, it's just just come on. It's like, I think that one is interesting because it's not just like Mother's Basement saying Naruto is a Hunter Hunter clone. Oh my fucking ah, god, Jesus I Christ. love that clip. God oh, damn, god. it's so bad. So I, bad. I, I, I don't think I've ever had someone see that and not come away thinking... <laughs> so um, anyway, like... like a... A, it's. I think that one's interesting because it's not just like, oh, I'm like downplaying playing one series to help help another it shows a critical misunderstanding of both series but mostly the one you're trying to praise i know just like it's it's interesting like that's the thing about like uh we can we should save that mother basement thing for another time because this is about oh no we will it's such a bad video though yeah not even like the whole video is bad but the naruto clip alone is like s tier garbage yeah i know okay so anyway uh let's look go back to this thread because it says like uh one things one piece copied slash took inspiration from oh are Dragon you just gonna Ball. bring up like the bounty posters because that was really funny uh no i'll, I'll bring that up uh, yes i was gonna be that but i have a lot of things so, like all right so let's start with uh gear two and kaioken same reddish aura like a oh a few on a fun fact uh fun fact i know what you're gonna say is it kanikuman uh no, I was gonna. I was actually gonna say the same studio animated both Dragon Ball oh, and. No. no no no! What I was gonna say is fun fact. Uh, Kanikuman had a transformation that was a lot like Kaioken before Kaioken happened. Yeah, cause like that's the thing. Like what, Dragon Ball took a lot of inspiration from something too. Like it's not the. Yeah. It's not like. And actually, One form... Piece also took a lot of inspiration from Kanikuman. Cause fun fact, guys, Panda Man, you know your boy. Uh, he was a Kanikuman OC Otome and sent into the Kanikuman. Yeah, y- you know what's a crazy thing too. What? So much of the, like, battle shown in tropes don't just spawn, like, just from, like, Kanikuman. It spawns from what spawned Kanikuman. Pro wrestling. wrestling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and I talked about this. Like, yeah. the, the whole, like, um, the, the term jobber is a pro wrestling term. Like, that's a, yeah, that we ta- stole. Yeah, or, like, tanking hits. That's a pro wrestling no, 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 thing. No, 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 like, where a character would like... show up, take a bunch of hits, and then be like, whoa, he barely took any damage. That's insane. It's just like... Yeah, no, uh, I think what I, I think what I gave an example is, um... Look at the big three and um, Goku. You have Luffy, whose whole thing is I always bounce back. You have Naruto, who has the whole a ninja's greatest strength is the ability to endure. Or like a ninja must endure. Uh, You have Ichigo, who's via having a lot of soul pressure can kind of just get his ass rocked repeatedly. And then he, every time he unlocks a new form, he can get back up. And then you have Goku, who when he's fighting uh, Tien the second time, Roshi has a line where he says, the most impressive thing to me about Goku isn't his uh, strength or his speed, it's his resilience, it's his ability to take hits. And it's like, where did, it's like, that, that, that's like, obviously it didn't only come from pro wrestling, we're not fucking stupid, but like, the, all the, those, those authors, I don't know about Kubo, uh, uh, Kishimoto, uh, Oda, and uh, Toriyama are all very open about liking pro wrestling. Yeah. So like, or at the very least, liking Kanikuma. <laughs> and it's you... like, yeah. 
It's cool. It's yeah. cool that, the, or like another big one, Puff. Oh, I Make won't bring up your a... attacks. Okay, you know, I, I actually, yeah, that's a big one, but like I kind of want to bring up about the resilience <laughs> thing. One of the most famous pro wrestlers, The Undertaker, his whole shtick is literally like he's a zombie man and he'll get beat up. He'll be lying, prote- okay, uh, like except, playing possum for like a minute. Fairness, then he'll like spawn a back up. Off and then yeah, I know, but guy. but like people love him for that. Like people love it when he oh, gets yeah, back yeah. up like that. Like, dude, The yeah, Undertaker is back like, up. That's the. It's just like, yeah, that's like an interesting aspect of where a lot of really popular shonen tropes may have taken some inspiration from that no one talks about because they think all shonen started at Yu Yu Hakusho when Dragon Ball. And if they're smart, maybe they'll bring up Fist of the North Star. <laughs> or Kanikumon. <laughs> oh, I don't see Kanikumon. You, did you see Mother's Basement bring up Kanikumon? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Right, what's next? Oh, uh, wait, no. I actually want to go down this this thread. Like, all right. Oh, same... are we going to look at a couple more dumb things? Yeah, okay. So, same reddish aura. Like, uh, A, that was an anime only thing. And if you notice, they were animated by the same studio. So, it kind of feels weird to say it, like... Yeah took inspiration oh, or, with the or, same like, they, people they working said, on they it. They said same sound effects, too, which is... Yeah, I know, which is less... Why do you think that is? <laughs> it's Toei. It's Toei. It's Toei. They're reusing... They're, uh, like, for auras, it's, like, same animators might be working on both. It's a st- it's a style they like. Um, or the animators know each other, and they like each other's st- styles. Also, Toei just knows that's marketable. And then mm. sound effects, it's like, dog, Toei has a sound library. <laughs> yeah, I know they do. Uh, and also, uh, Bulma was, uh, and Nami were, are very similar. It's just, like, they're using the... They're not. No, the thing is that they're using the, the Axe Nami, like, uh, prototype to say, like, look at how similar the design is. And it's like, dude, that's the concept art. That's not what no, that actually funny. happened on the page. Like, again, like, also, there's... Also, Axe there's Nami similar... would also be nothing like Bulma. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, things you can... There are parallels you can draw, obviously. Like, oh, they're, like, the first girl in the group. They're and the they're smart the, one. And they're, like, the smart one are surrounded by actual like buffoons <laughs> yeah and the, but then like you have like it gets like l- worse as the thread goes on like yamcha and uh sanji which is like all right pervert character they all like right. women except but, in like, very very different but ways. like that's like not just like a, a, a like dragon ball didn't invent pervert characters that like goes also, way, yamcha way wasn't back. even the yamcha wasn't even the first pervert character in dragon ball he was the third um the first was roshi and the second was oolong yamcha was the third Okay, and listen, listen, the plot of OG Dragon Ball. Our innocent and strong MC will meet a smart and main female character who will do navigation, maps, and dragon radar, along with fan service. She'll beat the, like, it's just the Nami thing again, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then, here's one that's, like, actually stupid. Bounty's concept was first shown in OG Dragon Ball. Yep. Dog! We don't need to talk about why. Dog! Next, <laughs> next, next, this is literally, like, reality do doesn't exist! What's next? I don't think we need to do this whole thread. I think anyone with a brain knows the thread is garbage. Uh, Skypea and Namek similarities. It was just the main characters go to a new location and have an arc there. Like and that's fight it. a really strong guy, I think, who yeah. tries to nuke the location. I guess. And then the anime color schemes, which is just like uh, again, oh, that's right. Toei. It's Toei just has like their style, right? And in dress, I remember the the someone said Lao G is just a uh, Roshi. And then I remember one of the Koichi said, like, no, he's actually referencing to this other character who looks really cool and awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, in Zo, Oda introduced a ninja named Ryzer who looks very similar to a Dragon Ball's Murasaki. And the only similarity is they have a ninja garb mm-hmm. and they do shadow clones, which is just generic ninja stuff. Like, it's 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 kind of like the, be- the Mother's Fate um, thing. Also, Ryzo isn't a ninja name Oda invented. Like, and that's how, a pre-existing ninja name. Yeah, and also, like, look very similar. Raizo's head is, like, like half the size of the rest of him. Like, Murasaki's just, like, a well, normal dude. Well, you could dude. say they gave similar vibes because they're both dumb. Except, like, Raizo's ninjutsu works, where the whole joke with Murasaki is nothing he tries is remotely effective. Yeah. And then also, like, Kaido's design is, like, another thing. Like, oh, what anime can only be influenced by other anime. Reality does not exist. Mm-hmm. Uh, history does not exist. I can't Mythology get mad at does not exist. because most of these feel like bait. These don't feel real. I know, they do feel... And the next one is Aura, which again, like Toei. Then, no, uh, I think that's all bait. I don't think that's effects. legitimate. Yeah, I know, it's just such a bad thread. Such a bad thread. Yeah, yeah, bad thread. I, I, I stopped caring about it because it felt too baity for me. Yeah. It's What's terrible. Next? Uh, The futility of filler. Oh, is that just like we should have more filler or what? Oh uh, yeah, we should just have more filler, but also the because like the in can feel they try to do feels like even when they try to do something interesting, it just they they it feels like they can't. Like you remember the Hiyori mm-hmm. scene, right? 
Oh, that was Puff, hilarious. A fucking Kino. That's the best Zoro filler scene I've ever seen. I know, but like clearly, like that wasn't their intention, right? To... Okay, but it's fun to say their intention was Hiori's trying to like hit Zoro up and do like a tearful goodbye, and he just wants her to leave so he can drink with I know, his that, dead that's, friend. That's what it looks like, but the impression you get while watching is just like, all right, it feels like they wanted to like make make more romance between them, but like because they're afraid to step on the actual like manga's toes or whatever, they can't like do anything concrete, so they just had Zoro be silent. Like she's like, I'm gonna miss you. Then there's a and then he's big awkward just dead pause for eight seconds. Big and awkward. Like, so well, anyway, anyway. <laughs> they have Emma, right? That's cool. <laughs> it's like you can see her heart break in those eight you know, seconds you, of silence. Oh, no, that's why it's a great scene because it's actually like her being like, "I'm gonna miss you." Ignores her. Uh, so Enma, you like swords, right? You can't have my sword. She's like, it's, "You're a really talented swordsman." He's like, "I need to go stronger." She's like, no, you're, like, cracked. And he's like, I'll do it for you, Yasu. And she's like, okay, I'm being ignored again. <laughs> yeah, and, like, this is another scene where they tried to do something cool and interesting, but, like, it amounted to nothing. It's when Luffy, like, did Bellamy's attack against Doflamingo. Like, that seemed, like, really cool to me that the anime wanted to do that, but also, like, the attack just, like, got blocked and didn't mean shit. It's like, oh. Dude, that's just a like shame. Bellamy. Yeah, I guess so, but like I thought the idea was like 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 but, like Luffy's taking no, no, on the it anger. It doesn't make any sense, but it's funny. Like Luffy, like oh, taking on the anger and like strife of other people and carrying them on his back, so he's using Bellamy's attack right after he was all this thing with Bellamy. If anything, you could say then... better Bellamy showing is just the fact that Gear Four acts like the spring spring fruit. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, like, like, and I actually think uh, my favorite filler scene is has to do with Bellamy. It's the one where they just show him in the bar when the bell's ringing. That's like actually the most like one of the most substantial things the anime could have added, and it did, which is right. pretty cool. Uh, no, I think the thing with <clears throat> filler is even like fun filler, like G eight. Um, pe when people try to like praise it on a more nuanced level, they sound stupid. Like they're like, oh, you see Usopp being depressed about the mary and someone gives him wisdom about what a klobutramon is and it's like yeah frankie does that in water seven they stole that from the water seven manga because the anime is behind the manga or it's like dude usopp using the uh, reject dial it's like yeah they stole that from long ring yeah it's like yeah like it's it's a good fun arc but whenever people bring up the setup it does it's like that's not setup they just took that from the upcoming arcs and put it here you, you dorks <laughs> Well, I guess, like, the real thing about filler, the real tragedy of it, is that, like, they're not having enough of it. Oh, yeah, no. Because, like, um, obviously, like, I, like, the... Like, we're going straight to Egghead, and I'm actually, like, really sad about that. I know. It's just, like, all right, we have a, we have an opportunity for a filler arc, this and they the just never take it. They only a... ever do it for whenever a movie comes out. Then they make, like, a three-episode filler thing just to promote the movie. Fit. No, no, because, Puff, I'm so sad. We haven't had this smooth of an opportunity for filler with the entire crew since in between punk hazard and dress rosa i know we got the kino animal kingdom pirates fighting not animal kingdom animal brotherhood pirates law luffy fist fighting that was kino yeah i know um, that was that was fun oh uh, and uh and then like they they uh, i'm impressed that with carrot they actually tried some split crew filler i wouldn't think i didn't think they'd go that far but that's the last filler we had and that filler sucked I mean, I remember kind of liking that main marine boy with the monkey arm. Dude, and all her how... route was so lame. Yeah, it was just like, I kind of like I this idea that, like... name. The thing is, I just thought it was cool that, like, oh, this guy I, that Aokiji influenced, and, like, you know, I thought that was neat for Ao Aokiji. Just like, yeah, he helped this kid with this weird monkey arm once. I think that's a fun little addition <laughs> to his it's character. It's just like, it's just like, I, I... And the thing is, like, people are like, ooh, Naruto. It's like, dude... The fact that the Naruto anime, half of it, is fully original content, as far as I'm concerned, is really cool. Because that means for half the anime, you get, like, pretty watchable adaptation of the series you like. Well, yeah. actually, sometimes it's pretty watchable, sometimes it's actually Kino. And every yeah. now and then it's kind of bad, but it's usually... Naruto's a pretty good adaptation. Yeah, And it then, is. if you want, you can watch the filler, and maybe you'll have fun. And yeah. it's like, with One Piece, it's like, I don't have that option. The filler is like... Uh, like ingrained like, to uh, the main story yeah, the like it's like they'll either Kimon. add more scenes the, the puff the pillar the filler is devil fruit user kinemon hiding underwater in a scene out of fucking nowhere yeah or like they'll just like stretch out scenes because of course they were like I, I always bring up this example like maybe that i just feel this way because i read the manga first and it's too slow mm -hmm. for me but like i feel like the comedic timing is just off sometimes like when ulti like oh, strangles so pepe 
Like when Ulti strangles Pepe, like in the manga, she's like, Pepe, carry me. He's like, no. And then she's like, carry me, a little shit. And then they fall. And then like in the background no, the, is Luffy's the like, these are strong snappy. guys. Yeah. And, and, and he's like, damn, look at, all these, look at all these strong guys like in the background. Like they're just falling down the stairs behind Luffy as he's talking. And it's like, who are you? But like in the anime, it's like, ah, oh, Pepe, carry me. No, carry me. No. Hey, choke. And then they're just like, ah, oh, stumble forward, stumble yeah. forward, stumble forward. Oh yeah. no, I think we're going to fall down some I stairs. I think that's actually one reason anime only say that pre time skip had a better vibe to them. It's because pre time skip, generally speaking, had better snappy comedy in the, in the anime. Yeah. Like, don't one off the top of my head, when Luffy gets his finger stuck in a bottle, and Zoro's like, I'll, I'll handle it, he pulls out an axe, and Luffy just screams at the top of his lungs. <laughs> I fucking love that scene. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just stuff like that, where it's like, I want, and also the thing is, like, I'm reading the manga, the manga's better than the anime, so the anime needs, so to me the anime is just supplemental material, and, like, sometimes you get that, like, the extended Luffy-Kaido fight, it's worse, because gear five isn't as like good but like there's scenes in it that i fucking love like beat louder my heart that was a kino scene luffy becoming a lightning bender was amazing i don't care that doesn't make sense and it's like i want like a filler arc too like give me another one i don't care what it's yeah because like have yeah. have foxy come back for the 500th time i don't care do it <laughs> no like you can do anything you want just 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 please have one because it seems like the smarter thing to do but like they don't want to because like they and i guess like whole, it would fix the pacing yeah it would and also like within the filler arc themselves like would they really control the pacing better so to do whatever the hell they want yeah oh do you know what do you know what i actually think we are gonna get what do you think do we're you know gonna how get? everyone always cries that we need color spreads anim uh, not co cover stories animated and we haven't in a while yeah? Do you think they're, like, think... saving it all for the end or something? No, no, no. I think there's two that they're going to have to animate during Egghead. That being, um, Pudding being kidnapped. I think they will animate at least some of that. Or maybe or maybe they won't. And then, do you know what's one I think they will absolutely animate? What? Uh, Vegapunk's flashback cover story. I think they will. Uh, yeah. Because it's, like, is... directly relevant to the current story. Yeah. In a way other color, in the way other, other cover stories aren't. Where it's like, with other cover stories, it's like, eh, that's not relevant yet. We'll ignore it. This one, it's like, dude, it's literally about the guy that we're talking to right now. Yeah. Oh, I guess, like, uh, we should talk about this, about, like, the remake that's coming. One mm -hmm. thing that they actually have the opportunity to do, and I hope they do it, is, like, animate the color spreads, right? Oh, yeah, it'd be fun. I'd like that a lot. Like, if they dedicate, like, a ch uh, an episode oh, or, or oh, Puff, teach one. quick bad opinion about the fucking remake that I have to talk about super quick. Oh, what is it? Okay, so Studio Wit used ai backgrounds once in a three minute short that's cringe right we don't want them doing that to one piece no oda released a really shitty minute long ai song good for him right he's fucking around being a dumbass whatever i don't care um people and puff you know how sometimes on official twitter accounts you can't translate japanese yeah so that happened and no one translated it and everyone including really big youtubers like oh no we're doomed it's AI, it's confirmed, I'm not watching the show, or even people being like, this is a bad sign, and it's like, guys, this literally, because Puff, I translated it, um, it's, uh, Oda sent us the song he made, basically. And it's like, guys, this has nothing yeah. to do with the, with the remake. I know. Oda just made a cringe song. The thing is, like, it's, li cringe. it's literally a boomer just having fun to, with technology, like, wow, no, look at what that's the like, can do mad. Now. Oda is so fucking old. I know, like, it, it, it's literally just a boomer having fun yeah. with the new and tech. it's called Yo Ho Ho. I like to imagine he literally just thought this would be a cool Brooks song, and then he like put it into an AI, and he's like, "I'm so good at using computer." <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back to the remake thing. It's just like the, one thing they have the opportunity to do, and I hope they do it, is like animate the cover stories because yeah, like be cool. it's like, like it. it's it's a little too little too late for the anime to unless they want to jump back two years in time to show Gadatsu doing a thing. Yeah. And also yeah. like this is like a pretty good idea to adapt because like the cover stories aren't like technically like. There's a lot of, like, connective tissue not there because it's uh, just, like, one panel for a page. Yeah. Like, you know, so, like, you just go from one to the next. Like, what would uh, 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 Drake versus uh, Caribou look like? <laughs> well, I assume it's just him, like, one-shotting it, but still. Yeah, no, like, we don't, we don't even see... We don't, we don't even like see... That. Yeah, the thing is, we don't even no, see... We, no, like... we do see Caribou get hit. It's like a silhouette of Drake kicking his ass. 
Oh yeah, like but like I like I'd like to see a scene of Kirby like trying to scramble away by the like, oh, holy shit, no, I gotta run, gotta like that'd be funny and um, fun. Let's hope they could add that'd be cool. Well, and like, like that's uh, one that I think people would really like is the Ace cover story where he goes undercover as Marine, uh, to help Moda deliver some cough some milk to some Marines who want coffee. Yeah, that was a fun one. That's that's a, that's a great cover spread, and also it's cool because Moda. Puff, I remember when Moda came back, and this was back when we were in Chapter Chat, and I said, oh my god, it's Moda. And everyone said, who? And I said, I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know what's one that I feel like they, they might, like, feel really shy about? What? Annels. Because oh, the thing is, Anel, crazy. yeah, no, Anel's is so crazy. Like they have like all these big like po portraits of like uh, the like ancient Skypeans or whatever, and like you know all those people on the moon. Like there's so much untapped lore on the moon that's only touched in the Anel store that I feel like either they have to like you know make like if they make their own stuff, they they t they risk like you know stepping on the manga's toes. But if like uh they like they'd have to call oda in and like have him be like okay you can do this and this right don't do this or that <laughs> oh you, you know what you know what I actually you want to be anime because it'd be really funny what uh barto cackling like a maniac as he burns shanks's flag oh no that'd be great i'd love to funny. i'd like that yeah i would love to see uh dude anime onlys when the grand fleet shows back up are going to be like why do i care we're we're gonna make yo it's orlumbus and his right hand man let's go <laughs> oh yeah orlumbus was so cute like he folds his pajamas at 7 p.m and then he has his super serious tiny little right hand they were fun yeah all right what's next uh next is uh do you remember why a kainu beat ace like like how did he oh oh my oh, <laughs> this is yours oh, buddy like, this is okay, yours okay, okay okay so um some of you are probably arguing to know so i didn't so um back in my uh power scaling argument days people would always do like heat calcs to prove if someone could beat ace and i'd always say hey but why <laughs> um and then they would say um uh because sakazuki beat ace because he was hotter than him and i thought did he and then I went and I checked the manga, uh, Viz translation, and he said, uh, "My power is superior to yours. I can, uh, I can hurt even you." And it was like, okay, that didn't say that. And then I went and I checked, like manga stream. I checked the color manga. I checked manga panda, which is the word. I checked all three. None of them mentioned heat at all. And I was like, that's weird. And then one time we were bored, puff. So we went and we went to. We went to the episode and we checked the sub and he said the exact same thing. He said, my power is superior to even yours. So I'm like, oh, interesting. And I was like, wait a minute, Puff. I can, I can switch it to the dub. Mm. What do you know? What does he say in the dub? Magma burns even hotter than fire. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you say that Ace is weak to Sakazuki, or I guess Sabo now is weak to Sakazuki because he's not as hot. Um, you are either admitting to being double- Nice try, I muted that again. Shit, no! Um, <laughs> um, it would've been you perfect, you idiot! <laughs> to being, um, dub only, which is, like, not the worst sin in the world, but as that proves, it means you're gonna get wrong information sometimes. Or, you're parroting dub only, which makes you, like, dumb. <laughs> Good job. No, um, we're just like, uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, you, it's just are like, you at the ocean right now? Oh, oh, can you hear that? Yes. All right, uh, no, so it's basically just like this is this is not like it's it, you are wrong if you say it for the record. You're objectively wrong. It's not canon. Yeah. But the reason it gets me so mad is because I didn't know where it came from for so long. Because I never thought to check the dub. Because I don't know. I think I just didn't give a shit about the dub. <laughs> And also, like, I, I imagine, like, if you're, like, a power skiller making a blog about, like, a heat calc or whatever, like, you'd want to have, like, a more official source than the dub. Why would you not use the manga? It's easier to find quotes from anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so no, that just annoying. Ace did not lose to Sakazuki because Sakazuki was hotter. That's dumb. Like, if you really that's want, like, like that, a... That's like saying that, that's like saying that, like, Baby Five's fruit is superior to mr ones because she's sharper it's like no it's because she can turn into a bomb <laughs> like i imagine if you want like a science explanation for why a kind i'd say of, the magma smothers better. the fire That's yeah because like the magma is a liquid like a, a thick liquid and like it oh, could... it's a fluid not a liquid right sorry fluid like it's it's this fluid thing and it doesn't like need oxygen as much as fire does so like if it like smothered the fire then like you know fire will go out first oh, sorry it's not a fluid it's semi-fluidic right, right someone's gonna be a, a dick if we say it wrong all right, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, shut up. Also, right. just Ooga Booga, I'm superior, just give dumb anime logic, who cares? Yeah, like, maybe it kind of just literally has, like, like better control over his devil fruit, or... Uh... Oh, no, he said magma is superior to fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, said that, which is All like, right, yeah. yeah. And, like, Oda said, the magma fruit superior to the fire fruit, for whatever reason, who cares? What's next? Uh, next is, uh, dude, crosses, though. What, Cross- though? Crosses, though. Oh, it's fuck. Okay, so... So, like, Mihawk had a cross when he was introduced, because mm-hmm. he has, like, a vampire aesthetic, but also, like, a, a Christian aesthetic, because, like, in Japan, they like mixing those. He worships Nika. Look at, like, look at, like, look at, like, Klaus from uh, Kekai Sensen. He's also vampire aesthetic mixed very heavily with cross aesthetics. And then, uh, and then, like, where else do we see crosses? Kuma has, like, a Bible and crosses, and we learn that's from, because he's from, like, a church or whatever. Because he worships then... Nika. Yeah, sure. Why not? Nika's obviously, like, what, Jesus or something? And yeah. then, uh, where else do we see crosses? There's a third in, place. Uh, in uh, all around Thriller Bar, because they have a whole gothic horror thing, and also they also worship Nika too. Yeah. Where it's kind of just like, guys, uh, I think Ohara said this. It's like, uh, yeah, Ohara said Mihawk has crosses, so that means he worships Nika. It's like, guys, first of all, Oda did not have Nika planned by then. Come the fuck on. Second of all, it's, you know you know that Japan just thinks crosses are cool and likes using them, Okay. It's like it's like it's like America with the yin yang, okay? Like it's a cool uh, aesthetic. It's yeah. not complicated. Yeah, it's just that uh, like so a lot of characters do have the cross, and like it wouldn't make sense for most of them to like worship Nika. Like, does Bellamy worship Nika because he got a cross on his back? Like, I feel like maybe if you want to say Whitebeard like beard worship Nika because that's literally his flag. Uh, the thing the thing is like uh. Like, with the belly one, I feel like you could, like, if you want to infer things about his character based off that cross, then I feel like, uh, you go, like, oh, after, like, the whole ringing the bell thing in Luffy, uh, he's a man who now has some faith, and, uh, maybe that's why he has a cross on his back now. Mm -hmm. Like, like, that's something at least, but, like, the whole, like, oh, he must worship Nika, and Oda's planting all these crosses for people who suddenly, like, Mm -hmm. secretly worship Nika. I think the biggest problem with that is... If crosses are supposed to symbolize Nika, why has Luffy never in his goddamn life had, like, cross symbolism once? I know. Or, like, when uh, Kuma goes to Thriller Bark, where, like, crosses are literally everywhere, why would he be like, yo, uh, Moria, you want to talk about Nika? You want to talk about Nika? <laughs> he's like, he finally Moria, found... You want to spread the good word. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. And also, like... Uh, Moria's this is... like, I'm actually an albino... Uh uh buccaneer <laughs> yeah i'm even rarer than you kuma <laughs> yeah uh i feel like the example a lot of people bring about like japan and crosses is evangelion where oh, like that's someone, not true yeah, because like someone that's a who, misquote the thing is someone who worked on it like i think they said the cross symbolism symbolism like it dude. was an animator yeah and within context i think it was they were saying it to avoid controversy because like uh puff if you can find the, the screenshot that was trend, trending on twitter i sent it of uh shinji's dad with the cross shadow yeah obviously it's intentional let's yeah <laughs> yeah like no, uh, like i understand I like up, like i understand like part of it is more like it's a shin ultraman reference like that's half that's yeah. like a pug no, part no, of it also too. no i th- i think the exact quote was they said they wanted ava to be religious but not christian specifically and they chose crosses because it was a cool foreign object yeah like yeah Japan thinks crosses look cool the same way Americans think yin yangs and random Japanese text that they can't read looks cool. <laughs> yeah, and like obviously, like it does like play in like like the crosses do mean something in Evangelion, like you know, like oh, the whole do, like trying to find but... external solutions to your problems. No, or, and like, no, no, whatever. that's what that's what I said, Puff, about how they said they wanted it to be a religious story, just not Christian, as yeah. in like using religious imagery specifically was intentional. And yeah. you could even say there is some real uh, Christian imagery because it's about a dad having his son sacrifice himself for the world yeah <laughs> uh small thing yeah uh is there any, uh, what's next uh the next one is uh this is like a big one because there's a lot of things you can say about it uh the art has gone downhill um the art has changed whether you like it more or not is like up for debate i certain things oda does less like negative space has gotten much and much less frequent Actually, I, I kind of disagree because I remember like when I was doing my Novid thing and I was just like looking through panels like for the Novid thing just for editing purposes. Like I found mm-hmm. a bunch of examples like in, you know, the post time skip era or whatever. And like I've made a collage of them being like, yeah, like it is a hard point to prove or disprove. But just like not even going out of my way to look oh, for them. Oh, oh, obviously, this I'm is just what I found. Yeah. Like there are really cool 
sweeping panels, but I do think, like, generally, if you averaged it, there are probably less, like, not pure, because Oda almost never does pure double page spreads, but there aren't, like, more almost pure double page spreads. There's probably more pre time skip. Yeah. And, and, like, and, and, like, like, the like, thing is, the thing is, like, probably from Marine for. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, uh, uh like we we no longer get full double page spreads like the last one like was at dress roll so like chapter uh 800 i think it was like and that right. is a lot there's an interesting change like that like we actually know yeah. where the last oh, one like, was oh no well, uh, and then but then we had like close ones like zunisha was not technically full but it was still cool yeah the thing is i feel like like even just like making that distinction and just like but it's still a spread though like yeah two kids it's not like, a full spread that, that doesn't mean the page is inherently yeah. like lesser and then, like, like, like i get like, that like, like when you're posting our, on twitter like a more adult page spread like a full one looks more impressive like on twitter or whatever but like this isn't meant to be read on twitter in one page oh, it's supposed then, to be a full uh, like, chapter like two more uh two more art things one is like oda still does really cool art like the one that we think of is the scabbards and kaido charging at each other we both really oh, like that I that page love that cage so cool. um and then, uh, and then, I, 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 okay, I gotta bring this up. I gotta bring this up. This is actually one of my least favorite things about One Piece ever. They should have, Onigashima should have kept snowing on the rooftop. No, it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty, though. I understand, because I understand that, like, like the, the, the island was moving. I understand. I understand the island was moving. I understand the guy really lift the island up and moved it somewhere else. I understand that. Thematic reasons about why it only snows when the scabbards. You know, I un I under I I understand that, okay. But also, it looks so pretty. The scabbards, funny oh, kind of looks oh, so pretty. Oh, literally a raid failure. Well, you're like, I understand it makes the meeting sense for you to win, but I want Frankie versus Sasaki round two. <laughs> but I just I thought the snow was so pretty. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. No, and then the other thing I was gonna say is, uh, I have all of One Piece physically. The baby. And just for fun, I went through even the Viz scans and compared them to the manga releases, the the volumes. The volumes look better. I don't think Viz has updated their digital releases to be yeah. the volume ones. Uh, Is like... that something you people don't realize? Like, when you're reading through, like, chapter 110, whatever that is. Yeah, no, the thing is, this is a hard pee. pill. This is a hard pill. We're just yeah, like Hunter this... Hunter fans. No, this is me being correct. <laughs> no, it's because it's true for every manga, though, Puff, except for maybe... No, it's super true for One Punch Man, because fucking Murata will retcon chapters out of existence sometimes. Um, no, it's just like, guys, even the coolest manga, when you're getting the, the weekly release, it looks more shit than the volume release. It does. They always clean something up. It's always... Or, like, sometimes it's just higher res. Even the highest res scans sometimes look worse than volume releases. Yeah. It's just like, sorry, guys. Uh, you're just probably not reading the highest quality stuff. Like, you are for chapter 190, because they've uploaded the volume versions by then, but, like, for Wano, I don't think they've even started yet. I don't even know if they've done it for Whole Cake. I, hell, I don't even know if they've done it for, like, Dress Rosa. <laughs> yeah, that's, I remember, like, uh, especially when it comes to, like, the weekly discussion, like, I remember when chapter 1000 came out, everyone pointed, like, Kaido's face, and look at his teeth, and, like, they're not even drawn properly. What's going on? Why does the chapter look so shit? And then, like, literally in the Viz translation, later we found out it's because there's a strand of hair going down, like, Kaido, the front of Kaido's face to make him look, like, frazzled by the attack. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, oh, I guess that's why his teeth look. Because his hair was falling down in front of it, and he just thought that was his teeth. <laughs> and it was hard to tell, slightly because Oda couldn't finish it, and slightly because we just weren't getting the highest quality images. Yeah. And it's and like, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Just, just remember that when you're reading, you bozos. Yeah. And the thing is, I do understand, like, uh, like when people think, like, oh, but dude, uh, we know Oda is a great illustrator, obviously, because, like, you know, the color pages. And, like, after reading Batwoman and a bunch of comic books that look pretty and cool Looking and in full Batwoman. color. Yeah, yeah, like, I understand that there's, like, there's the platonic ideal of, like, oh, what if an artist, like, took, like, a fucking year on each page and made it the most beautiful thing imagined? Like, what if, like, every... Uh, page of Louis versus Kaido was as beautiful as like a color spread, and it's like yeah, that that's interesting to think about and how that might be like 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 technic our technical like ideal of what uh of art should be, but also like One Piece is like in like even a series that might not even benefit that much from something like that because it's a comedy. You want the pacing to be snappy, and if every page is as, as detailed as a as a color page, like you won't have be able to make the comedy the same way you'd have to change it a lot in order to keep comedy an element in the series and that's fine mm -hmm. 
also like it's it's okay that One Piece isn't the most beautiful manga. I still think like you know Oda's character designs are really good. I still yeah. think that uh, like uh, like people say One Piece has bad fights, but what I think they mean by that is like the choreography, choreography. isn't great. Yeah, the choreography is. And even great. then, it can be really good. Like I think the Kaido fight had good choreography. When it like was this is actually Kaido like something. Brawling. Because, like, I, I, if you ask me, I'd say, like, the artwork peaked for me around, like, Fishman Island, Punk Hazard, Dressrosa. Oh, that's actually what Chas said when I said, Chas, when do you think the peak art was? And he said, uh, Fishman Island, I think. Yeah, because, like, my favorite page in the whole, my, uh, in the whole, like, uh, story yeah. is and, Fishman uh, Island. Oh, do you know what my case for favorite? Fishman Island is? What? I would have just got off a month-long break. <laughs> not a medical break, just a break for the sake of having a break. Uh, yeah, but, like, the thing is, like, like, even though I think that's where the peak happened, like, if we're talking about fight choreography specifically, there's this one chapter in Whole Cake Island that kind of, like, blows every other portion of the story out of the water, like, Luffy versus Katakuri. Like, I don't think anything even touches it. Like, that's the weird thing. Like, that's relatively recent. No, like, no I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Oh, I disagree. Uh, Luffy versus Foxy has a really good choreography. Okay, that does too, but I think, like, Luffy versus Katakuri <laughs> is, like, literally, like, No, the I think Katakuri's better, but no, I think Luffy versus Foxy is, like, understated choreography oh you know it is and like uh like the thing is i think the reason for that is because like it's the only fight where like basically two luffy's are fighting they're boxing and... they're boxing oh well I-, I was gonna say like uh two luffy's were fighting and because oda draws luffy more than anyone else he's it's what he's best at and now he's drawing mm-hmm. two like a luffy clone fighting luffy like uh, the way mm-hmm. he stre- uh, both of them stretch is like really cool and like that's what he does about drawing sh- these stretching limbs i think that's why the like, we don't is the best. we don't mean foxy li- uh, yeah, yeah yeah it's 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 this is it's cool and also just like Luffy, I think another fight with really good choreography, uh, an old one, is uh, Louis versus Buggy. It's just really fun. Because it was, that was Oda, that was the first Devil Fruit fight, so that fight was Oda showing off how Devil Fruit powers work. One of the main ways he did that was showing movement, or like, the 500 stupid ways Buggy and Luffy would take turns dodging each other's attacks was really fun. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, yeah, uh, good. It's it's fine if you don't love the modern art the best, that's Okay. Uh, I remember my t- puff. I don't know if I agree with this. Was the last time I read One Piece. I remember I finished Skypea and I thought that was really good, but also the art felt ever so slightly worse, and I don't know why. <laughs> mm. And then I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was just reading like sh- a shitty source for Skypea or something. But like that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, I want another thing about like the full double page spreads or whatever. Like I feel like there's literally some examples where the page benefits by not being a full double page spread. Oh, like, Oda does uh, that all the time. Yeah, I know. Obviously, like, this will, this, will, like, this will apply to, like, literally... Paneling and like, say, th- why does this work? And then I open it in my manga volume, and I'm like, oh, it looks great yeah. on actual pages. <laughs> but, like, even then, like, I'm talking about something like, uh... Like, I feel like one of my favorite examples, actually, like, this is actually one of my favorite pages in the whole manga. It's, like, when Hiyori's, like, staring down Orochi. Like, like sure, it, like, could you get more detail on Orochi's sick-ass uh, hi- uh, Orochi form if you made it, like, a full double-page spread? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Cool. But also, I love how, like, uh, you know, one half of the page is that big, uh, scary form, like, staring uh, Hiyori right in the face. Then on the other half of the page, it's Hiyori's, like, big, stalwart face being like, I ain't giving in to you. Ah, it's, it's, I'm the daughter it's, of a it's samurai. Cool. Like, yeah. It's, it's cool, cool that you see both cool her... Handling. It's cool how you see both her reaction... To, and then the thing that's staring her right down like she's looking at this big giant thing but this is her face like on the same page mm-hmm. like how it looks and i think that's really cool and well, good this is basically just us being like hey guys there's more to there's more to drawing manga than just the prettiest double page spread you can think of yeah it is it's kind of like whenever people would be like dude naruto art's so good and they send the pain thing and it's like come on guys well, you the paint thing is great. That. The paint thing is great. It's, I don't even think it's the best pain image, though. I think the best pain image is him sitting on the Buddha finger. Oh yeah, no, that's great too. It was just like, yeah, like obviously, like no, it, no, it's kind of just like this kind of thing of like they they go for like the catch all easy thing. You know, it's like just they they, they again they, when they're posting on Twitter, a full double page spread with a lot of detail is just what looks best and most impressive. That's why and that's become the popular it's good. idea. Yeah. All right. Uh, now that that's over with. Uh, all right. This is this is a dumb one. Uh, I think Kaido got stronger in his fight uh, against Luffy. Who did Kaido? Yeah, I remember. I'd bring uh, this up sometimes, and, and people would be like, "No," but like, "But dude, hockey blooming, best fight Kaido's had in years, and also thieving drunk. He stole Luffy's future sight. Come on, come on." Isn't this fun? Th- it, come on, doesn't it make sense? Come on, tell me, tell me, I'm not crazy. 
You're being awfully quiet. No, I'm listening. Don't worry. Yeah, no, no, no. That's all I have to say. Just thieving drunk. Okay, best fight I've had in years. Right. Hockey blooms. Yeah. All right. What's all right? We got anything else? Uh, Zoro has to break one of his swords fighting Mihawk. Oh, that's not an actual opinion that someone right. has besides a fake person. <laughs> You're right. That is a that is a fake person's opinion. Hey guys, fun fact: someone thinks that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, top top ten things you want to see before One Piece ends. Uh, this is just thing I've been seeing a lot recently because of the final saga, and a lot of people <laughs> like like say I want to see a Kainu get punched, but it's like obviously he is, dude. Like, don't worry, we're gonna get oh, that. No, this is basically just like, guys, can you say something interesting? Yeah, like I feel like what you should be worried about of like you know ten things we might not see is like resolutions to like small plot threads. Like, uh, I wanted, I really want to see Cricket and Wiper meet at some point. Am I gonna get that? I'm actually not sure. Probably not. I'm not sure if we're gonna have time. Like, even if it's just like a small thing, like I don't know, maybe Final War. Literally, everyone comes back. Cricket's like I don't know, fighting some world government goons, and then a wiper comes and saves him, or like some small background thing of them just like sharing a like a beer in the background or whatever. That All could right. be fun. Mm, it's kind of just like guys stopping like things I need to see before One Piece ends. Zoro becomes the greatest swordsman. Shut up. You're done. <laughs> nah, you're That's not. not interesting. It is not interesting. Uh, then we have a. Uh... Post time skip Frankie is a litmus test, which okay, is just, so I, I think is, it's just like part goofy, of goofy designs. designs. Yeah, but it's also understanding characters where it's like, if you don't understand why this dude, is have you seen my the brilliance best... of One Piece character designs video? Puff, I know for a fact you ripped that specific talking point from a chat room that we had. <laughs> Wait, we did? I did? Yeah, no, no, that talking point of uh, this is what Frankie would love to look like. Uh, we got that in a chat room when we were arguing with someone who didn't like Frankie's design. Oh, neat. Puff, I think you're forgetting how much of your talking points you get from the fact that you talk to, talk to us way too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm a hack. I just steal from from you guys. Oh, no. Except you don't even remember what you're doing. <laughs> um, uh, it's basically just like, uh, for one, he looks great. Shut he up looks, about ooh, he his hair. So cool. He gets new hair every arc. He's a king. You're gonna look at the whale, whale hair, hair or like hair. the or like the head the the head cannon hair and tell me that looks bad. You're a liar. Yeah, I think you're I'm a really, liar. It's just like guys, what this is the most natural evolution for Frankie is turning himself into a literal toy. <laughs> <laughs> because that, that's that's how Frankie wants to be, and it's Kino. And like literally, it's kind of just like if you don't like his design, you kind of don't like him because like that design is frankie it's it is like, so frankie there's nothing more frankie than a uh, nose button that changes his hair yeah shape. he's there's an action more, figure he wants to be an action more figure. frankie than having a little hand inside of his big hands because his big hands can't actually do anything <laughs> he's an action figure it's so great he has all these little pointless little na- like like his nipples light up it's so good i <laughs> know oh, it's it's great i love it a lot uh yeah it's just like uh, if you if you if you hate uh, Frankie's design, I know you probably have bad One Piece takes, and I'm I'm sorry you could say it's generalizing, but I feel like it's usually true. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, this is another interesting thing. Uh, the ideal translation, because like this is something that comes up a lot when people talk about like which is the which is better, like Viz or oh, TCB. Oh, oh, the uh, my take on this is the ha is the like mm, two cakes meme where it's yeah. like we um. Sometimes uh, Viz does things better. Sometimes TCB does things better. Do you know how privileged we are that we have two good translation teams working on one series at the same time? Do you know how few series get that? Yeah, no, this is like That's actually awesome. This is actually like the, like probably the best benefit of reading One Piece Weekly is just yeah. that like we have like two really good translations and like it, we can understand the series better because of like we only stand to benefit from this fact. It's yeah. so good. Like, they shouldn't, example, you shouldn't like, like put like, them uh, against each other, like because like like, the... like like King's King's tempura attack. TCB translated that pun way better, way better, way funnier. But then sometimes when it comes to like minute to minute dialogue, uh, Viz is just funnier. Mm, I feel yeah. like typically, or like sometimes TCB will be cringe. Like when when Charlos got kicked in the head, TCB did like a cringe like. Look how they massacred my boy reference. And, like, that's not funny. I don't like that you put that in. I know that wasn't in the original. Yeah. Um, and, like, yeah, uh, I didn't like that. But, like, it's just, like, it's so nice that we have both. And picking one is, like, dude, just read both. Or, like, read one and then skim the other. Yeah. Oh, uh, one, thing, one thing that Viz has going for it is uh, they translate sound effects. Oh, yeah, that is true. That is very that's good. That's so nice. And also, like, one thing that TCB has going for them, again, is, like, translator notes. Like, that's really helpful, and I'm glad, like, one oh, of the... Oh, translation people... notes are so fucking nice. 
I know. And TCB is, like, big and professional, so they actually have good translation notes. Not those god-awful things when you read a manga that was, like, translated in the 2010s. Yeah, like, go- gosh. Like, Insert uh, image of that Piccolo Doctor guy you had to deal with. Yeah, oh my god, okay. Yikes, oh uh, man. Uh, I remember, like, there's this one, like, uh... Like, there's this manga that's, uh, that I really called Insect Princess, like, the short horror manga. And I'm like, Dan, I want to read all of this guy's stuff because he's made, like, quite a bit of horror stuff. And it turns out there's, like, one guy translating all of it. And the Insect Princess one, like, at the end of each chapter, he would take, like, a page and, like, insert a meme into it. Like, ah, oh, I want my chicken nuggies or something like that where a character says a serious line. And then he's just now doing that, like, like, like for all the other series. Like, they, like, like there's, like, uh, I don't know, Pumpkin Knight, uh, some, like... I forget the word, something I so, something island so or whatever, but like he like every like page just has these dumb jokes on them now, and like in one hand like I'm glad you're having your fun, you you're having your fun with insect pinches, like you would just put them at the end of the chapter, and that's totally cool for you to do, but now you're doing it in like you're just putting a bunch like like literally you have like Lincoln mm-hmm. Park lyrics like in this translation where it's, where it's just like mm-hmm. I've tried so hard and got so far. But in the uh, hi Mocha, we're doing a video. Yeah, sorry, we forgot to move. We're very and just cringe. like it's so annoying because like I liked this guy's stuff and now I just can't mm. enjoy it because you just turned it into so- like it's kind of like ghost stories where like yes, it's it, it's kind of funny that the dub is what it is, but also it, at the very least you can go yeah, to the sub to get the actual the, story. The guy with the piccolo PFP. Yeah, a with, the, with like the doctor jacket. He's talking about that story. Yeah. It's a good story. Yeah, oh, yeah. He also just had this funny <laughs> no, like. We're talking thing. about how cool it is that One Piece gets to have two active good translations, and how that's way cooler than what most other series get. Yeah, and the, and like this pickle guy, like like that piccolo picture, of the doctor one was specifically about like mm-hmm. how he would just like take like uh like cosplay images and put them at the end of chapters, and he did it without crediting them, and also like oh, that's he. So funny. And also, wait, no, wait, the thing is he did credit them. Sorry, I, I, I did that. He did credit them. But, like, because of that, a bunch of people just started, like, harassing the oh, cosplayers and, like, sending them cre- <laughs> sending them creepy DMs. So he made that thing saying, like, listen, buds, like, just a lot of these cosplayers are 16 or younger. Just please stop sin- stop being uh, a creepazoid. We should. Uh, funny piccolo doctor joke. Uh, yeah, okay. I just thought it was very, sticks in my memory a lot of just, like, how weird translations can get sometimes. And right. just how, how, we are just really lucky that your favorite manga has two really good translations, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to go through? Uh, I was just going to say, like, uh, for the translation thing, like, I know I talk a lot of shit about Best Guy Ever, but, like, I do, like, I think it is crazy that he's the only person, like, like, even though we have, like, a, a hundred, like, uh, One Piece YouTubers who do nothing about One Piece YouTube, he's the only guy who decided, I want to interview TCB, and then just oh, I think a, a one other may have, but most don't. Yeah, I know, just, like, that's, that's, like, like, that's, like, the best One Piece video Best Guy Ever made was the TCB interviews, because I think... it has nothing to do with him. <laughs> I just think it's really cool that someone did that, and it's just, like, yeah, like, like it's just, like it's, it. it's, it's interesting to hear about, like, why things are translated this way or that way, or, like, uh, like, even, like, the inherent differences between the languages and how that, like, you know, maybe, like, so, like, again, a lot of puns might get left out because translating Japanese to English is right. kind of wonky. Because puns just like work differently in uh, in Japan than yeah, here. Yeah, and it's 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 cool. I like I like what we have. Arguing about which one's better is stupid, and you're missing the point. We're never gonna have a perfect one. You're not gonna get a perfect one unless you learn the language fluently. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, I have the bingo. If you want to share the bingo cards. Which one we have? No, don't no. Nah, that's mean. We it is do too mean. Like the thing is, someone like just said like I. From what I get, you hate all One Piece YouTubers. Okay, and, no. like, okay, we fair. don't have to do the one directed at a specific person, but I guess we can do the general. No, the thing one. is, like, how about we just instead like send just the top part of this tier list, the, the top two tiers, because I don't want to send the rest because it's too mean. Uh, oh, oh just... the tier list. Oh, oh, you said tier list, and I heard bingo card. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. I did say bingo card. Sorry, oh, okay. just whatever. No, no, so uh, like, uh, basically, yeah, just the... here are our favorite One Piece YouTubers. If your favorite isn't here, they're either lower or we forgot about them. Also, we if forgot kid... about them yeah. is comedically likely. Yeah, also, like if you see like peak written over like one of the profile pictures, that means that like most of their, their co- most of their content will go a lot lower. <laughs> but at their best, they're great. Yeah, no, just like there is good One Piece YouTubers uh and uh yeah so you know don't worry if your fave isn't here it is infinitely more likely that we forgot them infinitely or that we've never heard of them (laughs) 
The thing is, I'm only sending you the top half of the list. I don't want to send the bottom. It's really, really no, too no, mean. No, that's the what I'm saying. No, I'm the saying two names are too ass- mean. No, no, Puff. That's why I'm saying don't assume your your faves are at the bottom. Assume we forgot them because we probably did. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, and then... Uh, we for- Puff, that list did not have a lot of people on it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, do, do you want to go uh, one more? Or are you good? Yeah, sure. We can do one more. We're good. We'll, uh, all right. It's a person who popped in left, so we can keep going. Yeah, all right. So the... I made a list here of the top 10 most misunderstood One Piece characters, just because it oh, seems so like this might be a long one if we get into it. it? Yeah, the thing is, it, 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 this could be a long one. I know, one that's a bit too long. One. We can save that. Yeah, we can save that for another time. Do you, uh, do you have a comment, short what, comment what you think the top 10 most misunderstood One Piece characters are. Yes, or top 3, top 5, top or, 1. Or any other bad opinions you have, I guess. Yeah, please. Is there or anything else in the comments have. we forgot to talk about? Um... Uh, nope, unless I got one today, or I'll check. I'll check uh, real quick. Uh, nope. Nope, uh, d- no uh, new comments, so uh, we got them all, I think. Nice. Yeah. Uh, if you liked this video, subscribe, please. Yeah, like, comment, comment subscribe. And Dude, like all those if things, evil, please. if I, I promise that if Evil Puff gets to a thousand subscribers, we'll do, uh, real fans will remember this. We'll do the Zesty Rumble, but for real this time, and it'll be on the I, side channel, and it won't get taken down. Haven't you been working on that for a while? No, I only started working on it like a week ago, and by that, I mean but I made like two characters. How long have you been characters. prepping it? How long have you I've, been prepping I've it? not been prepping at all. I've just been hyping it up like, dude, I'm going to do no, this one no, day. No, by prepping, I'm do this I mean one you day. will randomly... No, Puff, by prepping, I mean once a month, you will ask us if we like the characters you picked. <laughs> yeah! Dude, we got teams going. It's gonna be fun. Oh, guys, no, guys, this, this is, is a my big passion deal. project. This no, is my passion project. Here's how big project. of a deal this is. Puff had to get spoiled on the character death in Beyblade Metal. If you know, you know. <laughs> he got spoiled on that for this fucking. Yeah, no, my, my my the original one got taken out because I used a bunch of copyrighted music because I want yeah, to have we'll fun. Simply not do that next time. Yeah. Instead, we'll just shout over it with like a whole call of people, and it'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Uh. And also, uh, why did I say if we get to 500, we'll have good audio? Cause yeah, we'll have good mine. audio. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice. You could listen to this rambling, and it only mildly hurts your ears. Yeah. Beautiful. So, uh, so anyway, uh... Oh, no... <laughs> For a second, I thought you muted oh. that one too. Oh, you, I just got reminded, the you just reminded me that I'm gonna reread Fairy Tale. Thank you for that. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. We're we're gonna do the Fairy Tale thing sooner or later, just to be yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm, to I'm gonna read Fairy Tale really fast. Don't yeah. don't underestimate my Fairy Tale reading speed. Yeah. I'll probably try and like reread the last arc to because like there's Again, some things I That's the last thing you read was rereading. Well, no. The I I want to I want to reread the last arc and uh, Tenro Island. I want to read the, the oh well, I also oh Atlas, Atlas, Atlas too I want to reread those three parts yeah. if I can. Dude, Atlas is so fucking good. It is so good. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, goodbye. Mm, yep.